When brainstorming topics for a new video, I was a bit stuck. I always tried to let my intuition guide me and the topics I was investigating were not triggering this feeling of confirmation inside of me. But then, all of a sudden, I got this inspiration and I knew I had to make a video about love. Today's video is about the spiritual meaning of missing someone. Some of you may know that some time ago I had two other YouTube channels, one in English with almost 4,000 subscribers and another one in Spanish, also close to 4,000 subscribers. And I was making videos about similar topics as I am on this channel, spiritual growth, love, personal development and all those things. But at some point I just wasn't feeling well. and. I felt I needed to spend more time with myself, dedicating to myself and my own growth and learnings. And eventually I decided to delete both channels. Today I was having a hard time trying to find a topic for a new video that resonated with me. And I was investigating several topics and what I usually like to do is to let myself be inspired. and to wait for this inner feeling of confirmation that this is the video I need to make today. And it just wasn't happening. And then all of a sudden, I did feel this inspiration, not to investigate a topic, not to write about something, but actually to go back to my old videos. So that's what I did. And I found a video in which I spoke about how to let your ex go. And in the video, I mentioned that I felt that I was good at talking about love and explaining concepts related to love and that at the same time, the videos related to love were the ones that the audience liked most and it interacted with most. In that video, I used an example of my own life and how I tried to let go of my ex and how I did that. Looking back, it's funny because I didn't really manage to do that. It was just temporary and it came back and it took me much longer to to really let her go so today inspired by that video i want to speak about the spiritual meaning of missing someone i don't want to set any false expectations for anyone because i realize very well that this topic on the internet is not explaining the same thing as i will be explaining in this video you see so many articles and videos speaking about if you miss that certain person that is because the other person is also thinking of you or that if you miss someone and you have someone on your mind that entire time that must mean that they know and that they feel it too that must be partially true because we're all connected. We're all connected to the same source and there is nothing that happens in your life that is not directly related to and connected with other people around you. It doesn't matter if they're close or far physically. The connection is there through the source, energetically and spiritually. But the truth is that it's not that romantic as these articles and videos portray it to be. They play in on the human drama and necessities for love and recognition. But being completely honest and transparent, we simply have to recognize that there's nothing spiritual about missing someone. And there is nothing spiritual about the need for specialness and the need for the loving care of someone else. There's nothing wrong with missing someone and there's also nothing wrong with recognizing certain events in our lives that might indicate that there's a, a deeper connection. For example, I still dream about that same girl every now and then. Actually, last night she was in my dreams. It had been quite a while and yet there she was again. And there is a, a certain storyline in the dreams. First, I could only see her back and she was always visible at a very, very long distance. I knew it was her, but I never saw her face. That was years ago. 
And then the dreams changed and she got a little bit closer. And sometimes I could see her face. Sometimes I could feel her presence and also her attitude changed a little bit. There was a little bit less rejection and last night it was strange. She was a bit closer again, but she had had surgery on her breast. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that means. It might mean it's just too long ago that I've had a date. <laughs> All jokes aside, it's interesting to see the storyline of those dreams. To have her being very far away, turned around with an attitude of rejection, then coming closer and closer and closer. And in some of the dreams, she recognized my presence and even wanted my presence. So to me, that's what people call a spiritual connection. Also, I've had regressions with her in my visions. So we go back to past lives as well. And I'm certain I'm not the only one who has such a connection with someone. But it doesn't mean that the other person is having the same dreams. It doesn't mean the other person is thinking about you. It could be, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. What I'm trying to say is that the feeling of lack can never be spiritual. In these modern times, we have spiritualized about anything, anything that we cannot see, but have a very deep craving for as a human being. Anything that our soul seems to desperately need, but we are spirit as one together with God and nothing else. So what is this spiritual meaning of missing someone? What it really means is that you have not yet learned how to recognize the person you love and miss for what he or she really is. Spirit in oneness together with you and everything else that you lay your eyes upon. I wish I could make this more beautiful for you and I wish I could make the special love spiritual for you. But the only one who can do that is yourself. And you don't need a special person to have a spiritual connection. You can have a spiritual connection with everyone you meet. Your colleagues at work, your neighbor, the man who picks up the garbage, or the woman who delivers your mail. As long as you see them as spirit in oneness, together with God and yourself, you have that spiritual connection. And the funny thing is, very often we tend to have a hard time recognizing the people that we truly believe to love on a spiritual level. Often it's easier to see spirit in people we do not know personally because we have no ego investment in them. We don't care who delivers our mail. We don't care who picks up our garbage. But we do care about who sleeps with us tonight or who we hope thinks of us at night when we are desperately missing that other person. And this is normal because if we would recognize that person spiritually, automatically detachment would take place. Emotional detachment. Because how can you miss someone if you're one with them? It's impossible. So that creates an emotional cleansing, a liberation. And I can tell you, it's beautiful. It truly is a liberation. And that's how you really let go of your ex. Recognize them spiritually, joining with them in spirit. So let's be very clear about this. The spiritual meaning of missing someone is that you have not yet been able to recognize that special person on a spiritual level as one with you and the rest of the entire universe together with God. People love drama. People love to make things special. And I'll be honest, I'm intrigued by the connection that I have with this girl from past lives, in my dreams and other types of paranormal events. But now I do recognize that those are just mind games of the ego. In the end, it's true. If you truly love someone, you let them go. So when you miss someone, it's an indication you still need to work on that detachment. 
And funny enough, through that detachment, you might actually get a step closer to the true oneness in eternal union. I hope this video was helpful for you and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.